it pays to be a winner. This is a phrase that was used by Navy SEALs. I want a six word phrase that made it possible for you to be sitting right where you're sitting right now. It pays to be a winner! Oh yeah. And was adopted by the Miami Police SWAT School 2017. It pays to be a winner! SWAT class 2017! Hoorah! I saw in the comments some of you guys pointed out, hey, that's the Navy SEALs motto. Why are you guys stealing it? We're not stealing it. We're adopting it. Gentlemen, just like your class model, remember, it pays to be a winner. That's a perfect mentality to have as a SWAT team member. And especially in situations such as this, one of the key factors is to never give up. When you're PTing, or you actually get injured, or you might have a gunshot wound, you never give up. Have a winning mentality. Also, if you're going into a situation, such as a hostage situation, there are no other options but to win. So these guys are adopting that mentality now and getting into the mindset now that they must win. So I'm pretty sure if there's a Navy SEAL out there watching, they're not gonna have a problem with us adopting the motto of it pays to be a winner. So guys, this is it. This is something I wanna start incorporating. A little sit down, a little discussion with you guys in between maybe every other vlog. Uh, maybe answer some of the questions that you guys have down in the comments or talk about upcoming events or upcoming vlogs that are going on and definitely open some mail. We have to open mail. So to start, let's talk about the last vlog, the SWAT school vlog. As you guys know, SWAT school is going on for three weeks. I'm gonna be attending the SWAT school one day per those three weeks. Um, uh, some of you guys commented that you wanted to see the graduation, so we're definitely gonna figure out a way because the graduation comes at the end of SWAT school and we like to try to get the vlogs done as soon as possible. So we'll try to wait to fit in that footage of graduation, but we definitely wanna cover that. Also, I've noticed over the course of this whole vlog history that you guys notice a lot in the vlogs. Just for an example, last vlog, one of our officers Officer Hiron was wearing a Dutch Army jacket. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, why is he wearing a Dutch Army jacket? Just to clarify things, Officer Guzman, over the course of his career, has been a cadre in many SWAT schools, and actually in one of the SWAT schools, a Dutch Army officer gave him the jacket. And they use that jacket when they're training with Simunition because it's thick and it lessens the impact when they're hit. So. Let's just clarify that. Also down in the comments, some of you guys were asking to do a vlog on the duty belt that we have or different duty belts that we carry for dis different situations. Definitely look into that. Definitely wanna do a vlog on that. Seems like you, a lot of you guys are interested about that. So we're definitely gonna to touch base on that in a future vlog. And finally, a lot of you guys are aspiring to be police officers or aspiring to be SWAT team members. So, and you're asking me, hey Nick, what does it take in order to be a SWAT team member. Well, first, let me start off by saying, in order to be a SWAT team member, you have to be a police officer. And you have to be a police officer for at least two years before you can apply to the SWAT team. So once you're eligible to apply for the SWAT team, you have to pass SWAT tryouts. As you guys saw, SWAT tryouts is very demanding physically. Also, you have to be well-versed in firearms and shooting. Those are some of the key components that you need in order to succeed in SWAT school. Want to give a couple shout outs to something that we're gonna start incorporating as well, or we give you guys shout outs because we get a lot of comments. Hey Nick, shout me out. So here we go. All the way from Boston, want to give a shout out to Anne Marie. She watches the vlog and she's a 15. So thanks for watching and what's up Anne Marie. Also, since we started last year, we noticed a couple more police YouTubers come up. Our brothers and sisters over in Parsippany, Troy Hills Police Department, which is in New Jersey, they started a vlog and they are on, I believe, like number seven or eight. Oh. I wanna give a shout out to them. They have their own YouTube channel, so make sure you guys go over there, check them out, like, and subscribe. And finally, wanna give a shout out to Urban Promise Miami. They had me talk at one of their events and field questions from the audience, just giving a little bit of information about law enforcement and my job here at the City of Miami Police Department. It was awesome, got to meet a lot of new people and they put on a great event, I can't wait for the next one. So as promised last season, we finally got our patch board up. Check it out.
This one's from Tony Perez and it says, thanks for all you guys do, creating a unit with a purpose to show everyday people what police do on a daily basis while reassuring not every police officer is a bad person. Has to be the greatest idea that has ever been done for the community policing aspect of the job. I've been watching your vlog since day one, day one subscriber. I live in Chicago right now, but I plan on being a police officer in Florida or Arizona. Come to Florida. Come to Florida. As soon as my parents both retire from the Chicago Fire Department after 32 years in 2018. Again, thanks for all you do in the social media unit and out on the street keeping citizens of Miami safe. I look forward to vlog day every day. Hopefully you can give a shout out to Park Ridge, Illinois Police Explorer Post. Hopefully I can get my guys to start watching your vlogs and enjoy them as much as I do. This message goes out to the Park Ridge Police Explorer Post. It is a direct order that you watch these vlogs. If you don't, I will contact your supervisor and have you in the front leading rest position. I'm just kidding. Thanks for the patch. We'll definitely put it up on the patch board. Boom, boom. Also got a sticker in there. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a day once up. All right, and the last mail we're gonna open up on this vlog is from the home state of Florida, from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's open it up and check it out. Oh, hey Nick and hey Nick and the team. Day one sub here. I enjoy watching your vlogs. Thank you for everything you guys do. It's truly appreciated. Your vlogs help show the real meaning of policing. Inside, I have included the patch from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, JSO. I would appreciate it if you add this to your collection. If I can do anything, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Can't wait to see Miami Fire Rescue Department vlog and I got your six. Sincerely, David Gonzalez. Thanks, David. You're the man. Definitely gonna add that to the patch board. That sums up the mail portion. Thank you guys so much for sending this stuff in. I have to catch up. We have to catch up. Or more me, I have to catch up. Sorry for being so behind. I want you to know that I really appreciate you guys sending me in these patches and everything that you do and all the positive comments that you send constantly on the vlogs that I post. It's really motivated, keeps me going. And to hear your guys' words of encouragement really means a lot. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the City of Miami Police Department, thank you so much. So I gotta go home, I gotta wake up early and meet the SWAT team tomorrow for some early PT. Hope you guys enjoyed it, added a little more content throughout the week. Some of you guys have been requesting for me to post more than once a week, so maybe this will help add a little bit more content. Again, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next vlog. I'm out, adios.